summoned through the dimension of sound. People explore the musical world which they believe to be true. But there is a world unheard by some that is filled with stories of an unknown reality, a jazz side. My guest today on Tales from the Jazz Side is with pianist, vocalist, songwriter, painter, photographer, the extraordinary Mr. Les McCann. Hello, Mr. McCann. Hello, darling. <laughs> How are you? I'm well, doing great. Welcome to California. Thank you. Thank, yes, you. Thank you so much for doing this. this yes, is yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, you're a renaissance man, I'd have to say. Now, where do I start? I'm going to start. Um, all right. Um, no. I had a couple of questions. I know you were self-taught. Uh, did you play any other instruments with the piano? Did you? Well, I was uh, played the sousaphone, the oh, bass, and the, in, in the margin band, okay. and drums in the okay. Navy. So, sousaphone? It's a big... The biggest instrument in the marching band, okay. big silver thing, you always see it in the back of the band, the right, basses, right, right. you know. Mm -hmm. You used to have tubas, now it's sousa on the big round band. Ah, okay. Named after John Philip Sousa, oh, the great right. marching band writer of songs. Okay, okay. So, so you did play other instruments. When, how old were you when you started playing piano? I don't remember. Yeah. No. So you were, were, was anybody in your family musical? Is that why no. you, just, you just picked it up? Musical was listening to, going to church, hearing the choir, right. hearing the radio, listening to what was on, and just, music was everywhere. Right, right. We're all musical. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. It's really true, because I know that's with us. As a kid, that church was like the first place that we got the music from. And everything. So you told me you had a brother named Donald. Yes, brother yes, Donald. yes. You have brothers and sisters? I have four brothers, one sister. Donald is my youngest brother. Oh. Jamin is my second youngest. Calvert is my third brother. My sister is Karma, C A R M A. Mm -hmm. And my next brother is William, Bill Pruitt. And uh, that's it. Wow. Now, did they play? They didn't play anything. Nobody in my family played anything. Wow. Mm. So, okay, so then when you left there and you joined the Navy and everything, and so you said, it, uh, and I read some of the, the only thing I can know about you is whatever I'm reading on the internet, right? So I'm going to get get some of this clear. Now, you went to listen to, in San Francisco, a lot of jazz. Uh, is that, was it just jazz or did you go to a lot of other No, I went to, well, I would try to hear all kinds of things because I was young. I want, I'm curious. Okay. San Francisco at that period was alive, a hotbed of music, all kinds, especially jazz and Latin music, you know. Okay. And a lot of great Latin bands and a lot of, but I worked, I was in the military, I was okay. in the Navy. Okay. But I went to the club so often that they knew me and allowed me to work picking, taking tickets at the door to the number one jazz club in the city of San Francisco. So I, that's how I got to know the musicians, the guys, okay. you know. Wow. But I was 17 years old, you know. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah, that's really young. And so met Miles and all, and they all remembered me, too, you know, so, wow. yeah, yeah. So, and so when, now, after doing that, like taking tickets, and did you then say, okay, like, I'm going to, I want to No, 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 no. What did you? Just I'm listening. I'm learning. I'm hearing. I know what I want to do. Oh, okay. I'm just involved with it. I listen, I hear, I play when I can, I hang out when I can, but I was in the Navy, I had work to do. Ah, you know, I got I, it. I, so when you left the Navy is when you decided that... Came to Los Angeles, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Um, there's a thing online that says that you, you won a talent contest for singing in the Navy, and that led you to go to the Ed Sullivan show. Is that, is that true? Yeah, yeah. So they, got, they got the whole thing on the web. Yeah. In, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I could go and see this. Oh, yeah. In oh, it's, in, it's in black and white. Oh, my God. <laughs> Corny. Yeah, yeah. Ed Sullivan like it, but everybody, you know, really, really big. He wasn't even there. Oh, he wasn't? No, he was uh, sick. Kurt Douglas took his place. Kurt Douglas? And gave me his card and said, well, I really like what you did. Here's my card. 
call me when you came to California. Really? You mean Kirk Douglas? The yeah. Kirk Douglas with the... Well, when, you know. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. Nowadays, people have the same names, you know. It's like okay, whatever, whoever, <laughs> any, anybody named Kirk Douglas. Yeah. Okay, but it's out with Kirk Douglas. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Now there is. They say that you know you have this very rebel spirit, and that, who said that? Uh, well, it's on it's on the internet saying you had a uh, a, a rebel type of spirit, and that Miles Davis had recommended that you play with Cannonball Adderley, but you wanted to do your own thing. So is that is that? The, been said it a thousand times. Yeah, yeah. But it's like around the same That's thing. old stuff. Yeah, it is. But you know, the thing is, is that when you uh, signed on the label, uh, the Pacific Jazz label, which is owned by, they say here, Nick Bennett, what I wanted to ask you was, um, in those days when you were getting a record deal, because you, you introduced Ro Roberta Flack, you got her, her record That's deal. way after, way, way That's after. That's in the 70s. No, in the 80s. In the 80s? In the 90s. Oh, okay, okay. Now, what was it like when you got your first record deal? Because I'm always curious about how that was in those days. It was the same with everybody. Somebody hears you, they like you, they offer you a record deal, and they come and you make a deal, and you start by making records for a company. That's yeah. just how it works. Simple, very simple. Wow, wow. You and know. if you referred somebody, they would actually like pay attention and say, okay, let me check out this person. What do you mean? For like, for? You know, if you tell somebody in the record label that you're on and you go, look, I just heard this great bass player. Yeah, but you got to establish yourself first. Right, that's true. No, that is true, but I I'm mean, saying it. And that all it. those things happen later on, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah interesting. When you, have a, when you sell enough records and you're viable for the company they want your business, they know that they can make record money off of you. Then you can make suggestions. Here's this, I just heard this singer, I heard this great guitar player, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You have a little pool, you know. Right, right, right. No, that's Plus, you have somebody, your relationship. Atlantic Records was uh, like being in a family because everybody knew each other. Okay. Everybody listened to each other. Okay. And, uh, Is that when the Ahmed Erdogan was still? Oh, they still own the place, even though they're both dead, you know, uh, yeah. the Erdogan brothers. Yes, yes. Everything's been written. It's already out there, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I I mean it's all right, right. In, you know. In my own, you know, just kind of understanding that there's so many independent labels these days because the record labels are not, they're not the same as far as cultivating talent like they used to. So oh, they never did cultivate talent. No, they didn't? No. And pop people do that. Yeah. They have to. Right, right. But not jazz labels. Well, they cultivate, what do you mean? Teach them how to play, uh, uh, show them what they ought to do. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly a key point. Yeah, yeah. has nothing to do with right. jazz. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I really think about that a lot. Yeah. Um, so, now, the work you did in the 60s and 70s, right, with Eddie Hammond, right? They said in, that the you 70s, him, in the uh, 70s. In the 70s. In the 70s. And probably 80s. 70s. We never worked together. Just a little bit. A little bit? Oh, yeah, okay. very, very, very little bit. Okay, but that album... Two albums we two made. Albums, okay. Where compared to what? It's called Swiss Movement and Second Movement. Those are the two albums we made. Compared to what was on the first album. Mm -hmm. It's just such an amazing song. Amazing song. And that Cat Jean... McDaniels. Yeah, that, that's the writer. Yeah. Yeah, and he's on the web. He had a, they had a good little interview with him before he passed away on uh, him getting the song to whole thing that went on with, with that and he finally got it to you and everything but he, he had such incredible things that he said about you and just the magic you know. he never said them to me no but no. He, you definitely hear him uh, there in the interview he's just but everybody actually says that you have this mystical uh, angel like quality me yeah <laughs> I yeah. never heard nobody yeah, say no, that yeah, no, seriously they do they say that so it's just like a, now in the 70s okay so this wasn't really in the 60s it was more of the 70s. I don't remember. You keep going back. I can't talk about stuff that I ain't here now. Yeah, because I was just curious about... Um, you better off reading that, okay? Right, right, right. I right. don't remember. I can't... Do you remember when you guys went with um, Wilson Pickett and, uh, and Tina Turner and them to Ghana? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember I remember trips and events, but I can't get in the 70s. I don't remember what year, what day it was or nothing. Wow. 
I don't want to remember. No, that's good. That's cool. I'm cool with that. That past is over. Today is what I'm talking to you right now. Yes. We did all those things. Yes. Everything they say is true. Yes. Maybe a few days messed up with certain people, but it's already there. Right, right. So what's happening now is it's what, what counts. Matters. Exactly. And I, I just kind of, I guess my thing is, is to how, you know, with people, young people listening and... They all can read this. It's already there yeah. many yeah. times well, over. You know, like, what's cool was going on with you? I mean, did you guys, because you're fearless. They say you're fearless. That you just you would go after things and you didn't let um, uh, 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 things get in your way, and that I think is well. That's part of what, that's part of my DNA. If God told me to be this way. If you want to have this life, you must go for it. Yeah, yeah. Don't say no to nothing. Yeah, and you've always been this way since. Not always. I just became reacquainted with it after I stopped being so afraid of everything. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, looking at things differently. I mean, because we're taught to fear everything. Yes. We're raised from a baby to be fearful. Baby's born perfectly in, 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 in whatever you want to call it, and we spend our life telling them what they ought to not be doing, don't be do this, this to be afraid of this. So by the time they're 40, it takes another whole bunch of years to wait a minute. What the hell am I doing? Right, right. Not to be afraid of nothing. Nothing. Yeah. But we all are afraid. So I like to narrow everything down to two things. Mm -hmm. Love or fear. Yeah. Period. That's yeah. all. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's, that's so... And so I tra yeah. check myself all the time. Whatever I do, especially on things involving other people, you know. Mm -hmm. just, just know you got to fear and make a conscious choice to, to change it. Yeah. I choose love right now. You know, I, I'll say something to yourself to, that you can hear because yeah. the words are just the door opening yeah. to act it out and to say, well, next time this comes, it won't be like this because right. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not afraid. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm not afraid to love, though. That's the biggest one of all. Yes, definitely. You know? yeah. Yeah. That's where we think we've been hurt the most. Yeah. So we build a wall or we dive into the water very easy kidding ourselves, but it's all okay. Everybody's doing exactly what they ought to be doing. Yeah. So, and there's no such thing as right and wrong. You have, uh, I was looking at some of your uh, drawings, you call them minutes, what are they, five minutes? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 second drawings. You have a lot of different, uh, I was on the web looking at a lot of your uh, paintings uh, on there, which are amazing as uh, watercolor, uh, pastel watercolors. When you started painting, did you think of, like, is there a pr reason why you just like watercolor or something? It's like acrylic. Do you do acrylic as well? Because watercolor, to me, seems harder to control than an acrylic, you know, because it seems so fluid. And well, I see, I didn't know those things that was hard to control. Oh, <laughs> right. So it wouldn't be, I know you wouldn't get in the way. You didn't I wasn't, I wasn't taught to fear of the control. That's right. That's right. I just pick what I like and I go for it. Yeah. You know. They're beautiful, too. Thank you. Absolutely Thank beautiful. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. And flowers and different scenes. And, uh, but you can, I, I actually will be posting it on the website where people can go and make it and see them and, mm -hmm. and purchase them as well. Oh, that, 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 that'd, be, that'd be good. <laughs> that'd be good. Yeah, no, you know, what actually kind of got me in the door with this here is it's, uh, being able to be in your presence was this book that uh, Buddy Williams had of photographs that you did. Um, it, you, uh, they said over 8,000 photographs that you've taken um, of all these different... With all this junk around there, it's either music or photographs. Yeah. And all the closets and all the, all those boxes in the front room and the closets in the front room and the, and the cabinets, all photographs. Wow. Now, what, when you were doing it, did you like... You were thinking, okay, I'm documenting, or man, let me get my camera. You know how, like, sometimes we no, just. Is no, no. What was it? Uh, I carry my camera everywhere I go. Really? Yeah. Just because you just. I want to be ready for whatever. <laughs> I like that. But I mean, I'm being a musician, always on the shows with jazz festivals, mm -hmm. events that involve a whole bunch of other musicians. Perfect setting for a guy with a camera. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. 
being on stage with him as well. So I had an angle that a lot of photographers don't even get to get to, you know. But I, I just did it because I wanted to, to uh, my brothers were all photographers, so. Oh. So I just I want to let them know that I'm part of the family too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes you even more of I mean, because you can not only can you play, you can take a picture while you're playing, which is even more amazing. Wow. So yeah, I um that's what you can people can get that on Amazon. That is that that's invi invitation to openness. Is that the title? It's of the it? name of the book. Okay, the name of the book. You and have a, 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 a record that record goes with it. Like oh, a record. So it's a release at the same time oh. called. Invitation over the record, but the book, something I'm very proud of, came out, but much better than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're even calling me now, knowing what do you want to do next? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Because I, Buddy, when I get back with bringing him the, the autograph and stuff, he's going to like let me know if that's good. But I'm going to order it on. I want you to take your, that to Buddy. Okay, I'll go. That drummer. Oh, cool. He can wrap I'm trying to figure out a way to, so it won't damage it. Oh, I'll wrap it. I'll wrap okay. it. Okay. It's, 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 it's a photograph. Yeah, I'll put it in my, uh, in like one of these things. Like Good. This. Okay, so I'm going to have it. flat and it's going to be with my laptop so it won't get covered. Okay, good. Yeah, but he, no, he didn't really get that one. I told him I had something for him. I didn't say where it was. But I think I did tell him it was a drum, but I didn't tell him. Yeah. I'd cut it out like this. Long time ago, I found it. I said, first name came to my mind. I want to give this to Buddy. Wow. It's cool because it has a 3D thing, too. It does. So it looks like, you know, I, I thought it was a, yeah. Yeah, it looked like a band sitting yeah. there, you know. <laughs> That's great, too. And from right here, it's a great photograph, too. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is. I think I should take a photograph of yeah. my phone, right? There you go. I'm going to do that. Can I do that? Don't ask me. <laughs> I just, you know, I don't, I don't want to. I just have to stop being that way. I have to be more daring and more not a, not be afraid, like you, like you were saying. I'm old enough to know better, right? Well, you didn't have to tell me how old you are. I am 58 years old. 58? No, I'm Aren't you tired of being afraid? No, I'm 57. No, I, I think I'm 57 or 58. Aren't you wow. tired of being afraid? Uh, actually, I've kind of lost a lot of my fear. I wouldn't be able That's to what everybody if says. I if I didn't. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, I, I have every, every year I just realize that it's just, I'm making stuff up in my head that doesn't, that isn't real. I mean, it isn't real. I'm just anticipating or speculating that something is. And I've been very daring as a kid growing up, but now at this age, I'm like, you know, I'm curious, I want to know, I want to experience, so I'm out there. That's why I'm doing this show, Around Fear, so I can help other people kind of like, all right, let this go, man, you know? Let this go, because it's a well, lot of time, you know? You can't help other people. If they want to help themselves. Well, but that's, that's not your thing. That's their thing. Yeah. Take care of yourself that's first. Your that's true. No, that's true. And by your example, if we, I want to learn from me, I can get that, but... I said, pray, pray. Oh, since I learned something, I don't want to go tell everybody what they ought to be doing. Fuck, they ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Right, right, right. No. Yeah. no. It's about you, your life. Yeah. My life is my life. Right. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to, to learn what I can learn so I can be the best I want to be this time around, this lifetime. Yeah. And nothing to do with all that other stuff they teach. Yeah. It's all bullshit. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I... I think differently. I feel that because my life is connected to yours, if I'm helping myself, I can help you. Because by helping myself, I am helping you. At least I am a better person. I'm a happier person. So when I'm with you, I can be happier and create less problems, you know, in, in your life. Because I'm happy. So no. I feel that connection. And that's what my concrete is. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm speaking on a deeper level. Right, no, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. I gotta look after it. I don't we were so easily distracted by all the things we love to do, you know? Yeah. So we don't never think of it. We want to straighten everybody else out, but we don't take care of this. Yeah. This is number one. Yeah. That's it, period. Yeah. Straighten yourself out. Not that something's wrong, just make sure you're living your life the way you say you want to live it. Yeah, yeah that's 
not just going along with the program or doing what everybody tells you to no. Yeah, and I've never been one to do that. We <laughs> Libras have not been the one. I'm telling you, I've had like a lot of a lot of interesting experiences in life because I just do not follow orders well. Oh, we don't like to be told what to do. That's oh, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, but we have to listen to our own heart, though. That's my point, though. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. the heart is the, is the source. It's where it is. So now, I have a section where I, I call my basement, going out in the basement with me. But since you are fearless, um, these questions probably will not apply to you because you've never been afraid. No, I don't say how can you not be. <laughs> Everybody's afraid. Okay. Everybody's afraid. Okay. We all have fears. But that's the way we live, and we've learned to be afraid. Okay. There's no such thing as fearless. Who's fearless? Okay, well, they write about you being fearless there. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm, I wish that was true, yeah. you know, but that, that, that's what I'm learning. Okay. There's no need to be afraid of anything. doesn't mean I got it. I'm, I'm doing it every day, talking to you, talk, just watching whatever. I'm, it's life. It's right. period. And since I've narrowed it down to two things, my life is complete, so it covers everything I do, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it ain't easy. It's no. rough. The hardest thing in the world for humans to do is love each other. Because we don't love ourselves. Exactly. Yeah, but I ain't the first one to say this. No. It's been said a million times, which means fuck all that other <laughs> shit. Just That's do so whatever true. you want to do. <laughs> Have a good time, and when you get it, you'll get it, you That's know. Right. There's no, there's no rush, there's no have-tos, there's no, if you don't do this, God's going to, it's all bullshit, yeah, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> don't agree with me, just live it. Live all it. Right, all right. Live well, it. I'll, I'll ask you the questions anyway, and then you can, like, tell me if it's, if it's a, so, um, what's, who's the scary, is it, is, was anybody you ever worked with that was a little scary to you, but in a good way? When you were what do you mean, in a good way? Well, I mean, <laughs> well, you know, they were like scary, you know, you were in a situation, but it wasn't the type of fear where uh, it left horrible scars in, in your life. Oh, no, no, that's what I'm talking about, though, see? We all have the scars. What are you going to do about them? Are we going to blame? I would have been great if I had a father, if my, my mother hadn't left me when I, hey, so when I say everything that's happened in my life was meant to be. Is exactly where you say yes to everything. You're funny. You are funny. You should have your own reality show. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, well, we, it's a, hey, up to me, the curiosity of, you know, wanting to know things and learning and breaking down the old has been, I mean, the words of, all those bullshit things our parents told us and the grandparents. I know people will quote you, like my mother always said, once you bop out ooga ooga, you got a bugger ooga, oh my God. And they right. were, but I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> yeah. right, right. See, this is the only place too where you can just lie your ass off. Say anything you want. People do. They yeah. say anything. That's why they talk all the time. Cause Hey, I'm covering up. I don't want you to tell me shit, and I'm going to tell you everything. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they put anything. They write anything, too. Of course. Because we live now where the truth doesn't mean anything to most people. To me, there's only four things you need to do. And truth is... If you're, if, you're, if you're honest in all times, you'll always be safe. And it's hard to believe that, but when you test it out, oh my God. And I'm talking about being honest to yourself. To know that we are loved. That's why we're here. We were given a chance to do something we wanted to do. We're angels having a human experience. On earth, this ain't heaven. Mm -hmm. This ain't perfect. This ain't right and wrong. This is all that. This is some fucked up shit. But it's meant to be that way. 
There's something within you that's beyond all of that. There's something you only remember from when you was a baby. You already knew what you wanted to be in your life. But we go through all these other things. I'm gonna, I'll try photographer. I'll go, I want to drive surfing. Oh, now I want to go to college be a lawyer. Fuck all that shit. It's something already here. It's already, you can do all of those things too, but you're bigger than that is my point. Oh, now you should, if you want to be a what, musician? Now you got to go to school and learn something so you have a real job in case that doesn't go. What do you mean in case it doesn't go? This is it. It's, it's got to go. This is what I am. Talking about a job? I'll be a shoe shine salesman. A shoe shine, what do you call it? Yeah, that's what I'm Shoe shine polisher, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And I tell you, you see this shit right here? Yeah. Every week, watch something about animals, and you will not believe what you learn about yourself. Same thing. Fighting, fucking, and food. They all know what they're doing. They, they're not just, just floating out there existing, you know. Right, right. And we all eat something. I mean, whatever's out there has something that it needs to live, that it feeds to live. So we're on top of that. We can eat all of that. It doesn't matter. You know? Where else could we be so stupid and so, you know, violent and angry all the time and, and, and still be okay, you know? Even uh, Jesus said, hey, when people think, what does it say, uh, I forgive you of your sins? They think that means uh, 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 if I've killed somebody or uh, done that. Now, all, all of a sudden, go to earth, be whatever you want to be, and get over it. Mm -hmm. Come back home and tell us what you learned. Did you learn anything? No. I, you know, I was so afraid. I, I hope I get a chance to do it again. I want to go back to have another human life. Every time I do it, it gets, it seems like it's starting to make me, I'm not so focused on distractful things. Food, sex, and fighting, you know. But we've done all those things already. We've been all the other, the other, 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 other ethnic groups. That's why, you know, I mean, we think, I've been black, and my ancestors, our ancestors are people, not black people. Right. They're people, period. You know? Look at them teeth. If I had teeth like that, <laughs> I wouldn't have to have no, I, I wouldn't need no quail, I wouldn't have to have quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Bottom line, every day, up at a notch or two. When you get in trouble, say, what have I forgotten? And be quiet. Yeah. So you ready for your coffee? Hell yeah. All right, well, you know, this wraps it up for Tales and Jazz, right? Yeah, that's my tagline that I... The jazz side is always there, waiting for us to enter and waiting to enter us. So, until next time, unplug your ear holes, for you never know what worlds may be waiting for you.